Hi everyone, welcome to another Exposed tutorial. In this tutorial, you will be learn how to use MapKit. So, MapKit is allows you to use maps, and I'll show you right now. So, I'm gonna open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. So, let's see the application, and I'm gonna click next, and I'll just call this Map Kit, right? And language is Objective C, device is iPhone. Save it on the desktop if you want to, wherever you want, and you need a framework for it, and I'll show you what happens if um, you try to use it without um, uh, having the framework. So I'm going to look for a map kit view and drag it onto the screen, let, let it make it fit the whole screen, and let's see what happens if we run. I'm going to run iPhone 5S and wait for it to run. There's going to be something wrong, and you'll see why. So, map kit comes out, and you get the red one signal, it's like a bark. So, why do we get this signal? Well, it's because we need a new framework, and, whoops, I'm going to go to map kit, the project, and first I'm going to deselect landscape left and landscape right, and we're going to add a framework right here, and we're going to search for map kit, it's this one, and you need to add it. And here you see it. Okay, now let's go to view controller.h and we're gonna import the framework. So we're gonna do hashtag import inside the thingy majigs. We're gonna put map kit slash map kit dot h. And here we're gonna say mk map view space map view right semicolon. Here we're gonna say at property map space. In parentheses, non, oops, non atomic, or actually strong, non atomic, IB outlet space, I mean, MK map view space asterisk map view. We're going to call it the same. And that's what we need right here. So, okay, let's go to view control.m. And here, Oh yeah, we have to do at synthesize map view equals underscore map view. Okay, that's all we need. And let's see what happens if we run. Even if you don't attach it, when we didn't attach the outlets, as long as you have the framework, it will work. I guarantee you. Oops. And here we're going to link up the map kit so we can click on the view controller and we're going to go to the connection inspector. Here we're going to select map view and drag it onto this map view. Okay. And let's run now. And check this and we're going to click on stop. So it's pretty much the same. Like you could zoom in on where you are, in this case, where you live. So, say you lived in, um, at Yellowstone National Park, you could check it out, but this is a standard map. So, okay. Oh, okay. That's all. Um, so I'm going to quit the simulator with Command Q, or you can go to iOS Simulator, quit iOS Simulator, or pressing Command Q on your keyboard. Okay, now, um... So, you could continue on from this, and here I'm going to add something. I'm going to add a toolbar, and what I'm going to do is, here I'm going to drag a toolbar, and I'm going to get rid of this, and instead I'm going to put in the place a segmented control. I'm going to drag it all the way here, and here, and we're going to say... And seg and we're gonna have three segments. And the first one is gonna be say standard. So this segmented control is to control the map map type. So if you click on so the second one would be satellite. So if the satellite took a picture, this the map would look like with the satellite displays. And segment two is gonna be hybrid. 
get there. And it looks like there. Nice and tidy. And I'm gonna open the assistant editor right here. And here we're gonna say, and we want the view controller to H. And I'm gonna close these. The uh, navigation bar. And here I'm gonna control click from here under here and the connection is going to be an action and that's and the name is going to be set map and connect <coughs> sorry okay now I'm going to close it up and I'm going to open these parts back and I'm going to go to viewcontroller.h Actually, I don't need to do anything here. So set map. We're gonna say switch, or and we're gonna say double parentheses, and we're gonna say UI seg mention control space asterisk close one sender close one close close the last one, and we're gonna do dot selected segment index case zero, and the statement's gonna be map view dot map type or actually underscore map view map view dot map type equals nk map type standard semicolon and I'm going to copy and paste this code so copy with command C and paste with command V it's going to be case one and this one is going to be satellite and right here Paste and this one's gonna be case two, and this one's gonna be hybrid, not standard. And now let's go. Let's go back, and we're gonna go back to main dot storyboard. Here I'm gonna go to the. Okay, now let's go, let's start the program, and just wait for it to load. So we have standard, satellite, this is satellite view, like if you zoomed in on Chicago, let's say. It doesn't, satellites, it doesn't have any markings, so you can't see that well, and you can zoom in on a few buildings, actually. Right here, that's a building. Oh, and that's a building. So, yeah, and if you go to hybrid, they tell you all the roads, and other stuff. Like the houses. And there's this random marking right here. Probably something. And we could go back to standard. Doesn't show you anything. Except for uh, markings and stuff. So hybrid is basically a satellite a combination of satellite and standard. Okay, I'm gonna quit the simulator. Um, okay. So this is the end of the video, and I hope in you enjoyed watching. And be sure to hit subscribe. Bye-bye.